to start the morning when we have some fabulous women that are just going to drive forward with equality. And when I talk about driving, I have to say women and cars. And I'm all about closing the gender gap and closing it fast. And when we talk about speed, I have women that understand that really well. So I want to introduce three fabulous women. I'm going to have you introduce yourselves. Tell us who you are, what you do. And I have to say, these are three women. It was truly love and hello. That is for sure. And uh, first, please tell me who you are, what you do, and then we'll get right to it. But if you have seen the most beautiful car driving around that talks about how to close the gender gap, thank you to these fabulous women. So please, good morning, Fabiana. Good morning, everyone. My name is Fabiana Ekostom. I'm vice president for sport for the FIA in South America. And I try to look after the clubs in South America and raise the awareness of motorsport and try to bring more women into motorsport. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Um, sorry. You can. Yeah, please. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Maya Beug, and uh, I'm a racing driver. And I'm the first female to join the Ferrari Driver Academy, uh, which is amazing. I started when I was only seven years old in in racing and I fell in love with it straight away and uh, I'm going to continue pushing onwards as much as I can. Talk about female firsts. First female at Ferrari Academy and the youngest female which is remarkable. Yeah she was 18. Um, my name is Rovina Gingasu and I'm a member of Foundation Centro Dino Ferrari and I'll tell you more about it. It's a foundation um, founded by Enzo Ferrari after his son Dino died by muscular dystrophy. And we are doing a fantastic job in um, university, university Hospital of Milan. And I'll tell you more about it after these fantastic women are, uh, are talking about the motorsport and uh, their involvement. Okay, let's, I think I'm gonna start with watching a little film clip. So let's just get us all in, in the mood by watching a little clip. Let's roll the film. As you know, I'm Maya Work. I'm 16 years old. So I started karting when I was seven years old. And since then, yeah, I never stepped out of it. I mean, okay, Maya, I want to ask you a simple question. Can you beat the guys? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, so you, right now we talk about Formula One, okay? M perception reality. Why do we not have female drivers in Formula One? Like, what is up with that? Because what I have heard is that women can't drive as fast as guys. Like, that is not true, correct? Like, give it to me straight. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, I think it's difficult to say why, because uh, at the end, I beat the guys <laughs> quite often. Oh! <laughs> um, but I think it's just because uh, there are not enough girls in the starting, in racing. Um, like, this year, I'm the only girl in my category. And I think we need to inspire more young girls to start in karting and in the lower categories to then have a bigger amount of girls in racing. And then from there on, we can, 
get into F1, hopefully. Okay, so I'm the co-founder of See Her. If you could see her, you could be her. So part of the issue is we don't see enough women in racing, so young girls think they can't be race car drivers. So it's the chicken and egg, so we're going to get to that. So you got started, and now you're at the Ferrari Academy so that we can get more girls. And we're going to talk about how we're going to get more girls doing it. So what inspired you? Like, how did you have the motivation? Um, well, when I was very little, I used to go to the karting track uh, very often with my dad just to watch. And then when I was almost seven, more than seven years old, uh, I really wanted to start. And as a present, me and my brother got a kart for Christmas. And I fell in love with it. My brother mm -hmm. didn't like it, so he stopped. But uh, yeah, since then, I just fell in love with the the speed and the adrenaline you get when, when you're in the car. Okay, so Roman, Romina, to you. Ferrari Academy, tell us what you're doing and how we are going to inspire more girls and how we're grooming in this next generation. Uh, I think Fabiana can explain uh, that in a better okay. way because she's Sorry. responsible of these projects with uh, FIA. Sorry to budge in. So part of my job then is to try to get more girls seeing girls and trying to start racing. So the clubs in Latin America and all over the world, so the clubs that the FIA overseen, we try to get them to the lower categories because again, it's cheaper and it's easy to entry or even to do slaloms in, in the shopping malls parking lot, as simple as that. But then again, as you, when you can see them, they get inspired and they want to ask their parents and they want to start. And also they have potential people that go there and watch them. And if they're very good, take them to the next level. So it's the new window for them to start. So let's talk about that because this, the show Thrive to Drive. Uh, it, it, uh, sorry. Survive. Back and still to Romina's point. So the Ferrari Academy is one of the few teams in Formula One, which is the Ferrari team that developed this opportunity, which is the Ferrari Academy. So they take the younger talent, take into their um, like headquarters, and basically you live there. No, yeah. tell us a little bit about what you do in your daily life. So they really do the job with them. Yeah, exactly. So I live in Italy for the past two years already, and I'm there every day uh, training doing simulator um, in the gym and then they check us on nutrition and our diet and it's all very com controlled and uh, but we are there every day doing something useful for our careers and it helps so much to to make that step to have that support of of the academy and so what will it take to get more female drivers and w what level are there now of female drivers volume we need volume, as many as we can get. So to have one mile, we need to have 100 girls in karting. At the moment, in countries that are very big, that has a 1,000 uh, karting racing drivers, you have 10, you have 15 girls racing. So we still we need volume, because once you have a lot of girls involved, a lot of girls' interest, and again, Maya is in a wonderful position as a racing driver, but what we need to open also, you can be a co-driver in a rally, you can be a race director, you can be... Um, a steward, you can be a flag marshal, you can be so many other things involved in motorsport. So we need to raise this uh, um, flag and people need to be seen. And then, uh, for example, in Singapore, in the um, Formula One Grand Prix, the marshals, the majority of them are women. So there's like over 60 girls on the track doing the marshalling of the race. So everywhere we have more girls, we have just to spread the word and tell you, welcome, you can come and you can join us and you'll be very welcome and do a good job. So tell us about um, F1A and what you are doing and the, the power of it, because the percentage of women that watch Formula One too is enormous. And the show also generated a lot of attention and a lot of women watch Formula One and lo love s s motorsports. Yeah, so we have the following, so the, the audience is there. So why not create opportunities? So when you have the accessibility, so if you can go out on a weekend and meet your friends and, and do racing and, and join your friends somewhere else and, and be able to participate in a way doing the timing, doing something else, you get more involved and you feel more part of it. So the barrier we have to break is that women are welcomed, you know, because it's a very male-dominating male environment. 
but we can do it. And the ne next challenge is there is a commission in the FIA, which is a Women in Motorsports Commission, that tries to, to again, create these opportunities everywhere. Because one thing is the costs are very high in motorsport, so we also try to bring attention to the sponsors that these girls, they are good, but they need the sponsorship to get to the next level. Because when you have a good girl and a boy, the sponsors tend to go and invest in the, in the boy. So what is important for us to meet the CEOs and meet people and to explain to them that the girls are as, as fast and they're much good looking <laughs> and they have other very good opportunities of marketing. So today, if you have a girl racing, so the spontaneous marketing that would be generating just because she's a female and she reached the top would be wonderful. But we need to break this barrier. I've been working in this field for over 25 years. This commission in the FIA, the Women in Motorsport Commission, is 11 years old. And again, we're making progress step by step, but we're fighting every day, every opportunity we're there. So for FIA, like what's a big ask? Like you're working on so many amazing projects. Like right now, what's a, a big project you're working on that we can all join in and sponsor? I think it's just inform information, you know, you know you can do it, you know you can join, just look for your local club, look for your, your local so sport association, and then you can join. So my task now is to speak with all these um, uh, clubs and create the small campaigns, whatever you can do, and now with social media is wonderful, you don't need a massive advertising, you do a post, you have a, um, an influencer that join in and she can spread the word that, oh, racing is cool, I can come and I can enjoy, I can watch, I can do this, I can do that. So Listen, we're in a creator economy right now, we've got some great influencers that we should bring to the academy, so we're going to go to Romina right now, that can help generate a great campaign to, you know, and it, it really is, it's it's the chicken or egg. We got to get the egg to get the, you know, and put it in there so that we can generate the awareness for these amazing women. And you have women. to thank Ferrari because again, without the Ferrari initiative, so she's the first girl. So like the more exposure she got, the more seen she got, maybe other teams would follow because we have 11 teams in the Formula One grid, leave it alone all the other teams. And there is a lot of opportunity. Formula One is creating now another project called F1 Academy that will be uh, essentially girls. So we're getting there slowly, okay. but... Well, we, we, we don't like to go slow. We like to go fast. So let's go fast. Romina, take us there. Uh, we need also support, as Fabiana said, from um, multinational companies. Um, but Ferrari is not looking for financial, um, especially. We are looking for partnership. As you can see on my um, uniform, we have the FIA Girls on Track logo, which is Fabiana's project. And we are more than happy to make a partnership with, um, with other companies, which, of course, for Formula One, we already have big names on the car but they can start also with the first lady in the Ferrari Academy. <laughs> and uh, Maranello, it's a very nice city in Italy where the Ferrari factory is, where are working 6,000 people day by day. Uh, are so many women in this company, in engi engineering, uh, legal department, communication, um, getting there also to top management. Now we have um, the brand manager, she's a woman. Mm. And uh, so we are breaking the, the barriers. Um, and I'm always emotion, emotional when I speak about Maranello because if you come and visit, you will see that that company is made by people, not companies making the people. People are making the company. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's the heart of Italy there. It's beating day by day. It's the dream of Enzo Ferrari, the vision of Enzo Ferrari, which I'm very, very proud to represent. And I see generations, new generations in Ferrari, and I'm very proud. Ferrari supporting very much with master degrees, the engineering um, programs. So any women are, uh, the, they have the intention to work in Ferrari, they can come and ask for help, and Ferrari will, uh, will help them to study to, and then to, to work for us. So there are so many interesting programs that Ferrari is doing uh, for the employees, and uh, that's why it's such a, such a strong brand. Well, I, I just, I, I don't want to embarrass you at all, but I do need to give you a big shout out, because when I received the phone call that you wanted to come here, it was a gift from God, truthfully. And the love that you are um, 
bringing to us to help us close the gender gap and that you said you know, the female quotient is helping so many women and that you wanted to come to Davos and support us and all of the women in our community, you are walking the talk. And to, you know, we are losing so many women to technology. And the fact that you are, you know, helping to bring women in engineering and that you have so many women. And when what you talked about, Fabiana, is um, truly, um, women in, biz, in the business of sport is so important. It's not just driving, it's business of sport. We need women in the business of sports across the board. And in Ferrari Academy, it is so important to, you know, I met Shecanics and I thought that was so cute, calling it Shecanics and really bringing that visibility and changing the trajectory of women in sports. And it starts by starting. You know, and that's what we have to do. We have to bring, we have to flood the market and, and, and bring that visibility. And once we bring the awareness and the visibility, you change the equation and close the gap. That's what we have to do. Tell your story, please. Give your background because you blew me away. LinkedIn story? <laughs> that story, but also your story of aviation. Uh, yes, I was studying in the military school, uh, aircraft engine engineering. And um, I was um, studying with women that they were piloting um, you know, fighter planes. So they were the same like uh, Just saying. the men. I mean, I think they're fantastic and nobody's talking about that. Um, and then I applied on uh, your platform in LinkedIn and then changed my life. So this is such an, let's say, international uh, story to say. Uh, but I'm happy because uh, LinkedIn really helped me to follow my dream and to have my dream job, and then to, um, to have the opportunities international to help also other people. So with the foundation of uh, um, Centro Dino Ferrari, we are doing a very classy job. We don't look for show off or uh, fundraisings because we have, let's say, the resources. We are um, doing a day-by-day -day job in the University Hospital of Milan finding treatments every day for people in need for muscular dystrophy, Alzheimer, and Parkinson. Because the first son of Enzo Ferrari, Dino, died by muscular dystrophy, and he believed in this mission, and I'm believing with all my heart, too. Because I was there, and I saw it. Enzo Ferrari bought technology, medical technology, 35 years ago, which is still active in this hospital, and we are finding treatments day by day for people in need. This is one thing. Then, Ferrari Academy needs so much support. So I met Maya in, uh, because I'm going to Maranello. I'm in the production sometimes, sometimes I'm in the, I'm customizing cars with clients, which is a fantastic experience too. So let's say I, I stay corporate a bit. And I met Maya, and then I met you. And this is all uh, connecting and meeting nice people. Really, really nice and people. And who does the finishings of the Ferrari cars? The interior of the Ferrari cars, it's uh, full done by women. So are about 50 women that they uh, handcraft the leather. And the interior of a Ferrari is made by women. <laughs> and it's amazing because just in the last day, we've, ta we've used three very important words that keep coming up. Courageous, collaboration, resilience. Yes, and I want to tell you also another point that I was thinking yesterday, that our we are brave. The new generation is very brave. But um, our, mm, how to say, um, skills are a bit limited by the um, system we are living in. So you are living in a fantastic country in the US, and you have so many opportunities, and you have a voice. And uh, in Europe, the situation is changing a bit, because we are speaking about the system we are living in in each country. So Italy has so many things to offer, like France and this, but then we speak about Eastern Europe, uh, crisis in Ukraine, so oral, so inf political or um, humanitarian uh, facts that uh, are influencing the courage of the women to, to have initi initiatives. I think this is a real fact. Mm. So if I asked us each, like, a wish, what would that be? Fabiana, give me a wish of what we could do together. Because we are 
crazy glued together now. So we are not leaving each other's side. We're, we are now, we move forward, we are better together, we are gonna change the trajectory for girls and women in, in sport. What's your wish? My wish is to spread the word that girls can be on track. So just come and join motorsport. Yeah, my wish is uh, to s inspire young women, to show them that it's possible if, if you really have the passion and if you're willing to do it and never give up, you can, you can reach whatever your goal is. So I think I, I want to inspire young women to, to get there and uh, hopefully also get to Formula One very soon. And my wish is to make a change in schools. So in Europe, we have a history of uh, fantastic women. Of course, Caterina de Medici uh, and other uh, strong women. And it's nice to learn about it in schools. But also, it's nice to see these projects, so to speak about this project in the public schools. And I think this can be a very nice uh, push f to look forward, not in the back. It's very important to look in the back and to learn from the mistakes of other leaders, what they did and to do not repeat the same mistakes, but to make a change in our system. I love that. And so I, you know, I, I'm sitting here and I keep thinking about you know, our partnership with LinkedIn and, and what we're about to do with education. And I see a, an amazing race with education, yeah. country by country, driving. And it'll be driving equality forward, tying in our education with dots along the map, connecting the dots. So we will figure something amazing out and it will be driving equality forward. And so we will, our wish will come true and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And Maya, we are betting on you. And I have 1000% with 1000% certainty, you are gonna win the race. So here we go. Thank you very much. I'm all in. She has all our support. <laughs> Remarkable. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you to you very much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, girls. Why do we say thank you, guys? It's <laughs> thank you, girls. Thank you.